Hey, and welcome back to the Buck Run Kids Show for a very special edition because I'm joined by not the president, not the middle manager, not the czar, but the director Hello. of the Buck Run Kids <laughs> Ministry. Scott. Hey, Miss so Mel. Good to see you. It is good to see you. Oh, it's welcome. It's great to be on the show. Oh, we're so glad oh, you're on I've the show. I've been watching it every week. Oh, it was really? great last week. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry that your scooter. Yeah. Do not work so I was kind of well. sore after it, for I real. Would, I would True story. See that. I could see um, that. But I'm glad you're watching. Oh, I'm glad. Um, hey, as the director yes. uh, of the Bucker and Kids Ministry, what, what do you do? Oh, I have the best job in the whole world. Ooh, I really it's a big do. Big world. I get to serve the Lord here at Buck Run with the best kids in the world the best families and our leaders. I get to help equip our families, help equip our leaders and um, give them things and opportunities to be able to share with our kids ways to learn the Bible, ways to memorize scripture, wow. and just ways to be connected to one another. Man, that's an so important it is, job. It's, it's for, Well, it's a lot of fun. Oh, I bet. <laughs> um, hey, as the as the director, did you know that we're all exploring the Bible? I do know about that. Oh. Yes, it is exciting, isn't it? Yes, These I These expeditions have been amazing. I uh -oh. just, yeah. Here it's, we are in Genesis. I know. Yeah, the beginning. It is the so beginning. It has been great. Yeah, I love it. This week we're in Expedition 4. We a are. A special promise to a special son. Oh, it and apparently is. it's going to be a special week. It is, it is. And man, we have the best um, uh, memory verse to learn. And um, as we look at those books, I tell you, there's so many different sections in them. And my favorite by far is the snapshot. Yeah, what? why well, is it called a snapshot? Well, they call it snapshot because have you ever been on a trip or an expedition of sorts? A few of them. You, well, when you get home, it's so nice to look at the memories. Maybe you took a picture um, and you can stop and look at these pictures and it just reminds you of different spots along the way. Mm. And so that is what each one of these memory verses are for us. Hopefully by the time we get to the end of our expedition, we can look back and in our memories remember these Bible verses that we've learned and help us to remember just the important promises of God and the things that he taught us along this expedition. Oh, that makes sense. So, I've been trying really hard to memorize. Is it hard? You know, Sometimes. last week, <laughs> last week was fine. Yeah. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. I that knew it. That was pretty easy. <laughs> but Miss Mel, this week I'm having trouble. Oh, you can do it. I have some great tips for you. Oh, you do? I Is that going to help me? It will. Tips oh. will help you. Oh, yes. can, will you tell me? I am. I'm going to tell you. I'm first going to tell you what our memory verse is. Okay. Do you know it yet? I Have know. you heard it? I heard it. Well, it's I don't in know it. Genesis, Genesis 15, 6. And he believed the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness. Yeah, it's a great righteousness. verse. Righteousness. Righteousness. <laughs> it's great. I can't remember it. You can, you can. I tell you what I think. I can think of three good ways to help you remember it. Okay. The first Are you all ready? All right. Oh, yeah. Tell us. I you think I might have some friends that need down. it. All right. <laughs> the first one, I want you to say it out loud. If I say And he believed oh, the Lord and he. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You said say it out loud. Well, I just mean like say it out loud. If I oh, say things like out when loud, I'm in my room practicing yes. to not just read say it, it but out to, loud. Oh. go ahead, try it. And he believed the Lord and he counted it to him as righteousness. Perfect. So say I don't have it. to like yell it. Oh. oh, well, if you want to go outside, oh, okay, you I can go could outside. Do that. Got it. But probably in your room, you might just want to mm -hmm. say it out loud. Okay. Second tip. Are you ready? Yeah, so I'm going to say it out loud. And then what? Number two. Okay. Learn it in small pieces. Sometimes the verse is really long. Okay. This week, mm, sort of long. So kind of like when mom says, don't yeah. put too much food in your mouth. Right. Take Got small it. bites. Yeah. So let's practice this. All let's right. see. How I would do this on Monday, I would say, and he believed the Lord. That's the only part on Monday. And he believed the Lord. That on feels really doable for a Monday. You got it. So on Monday, you got that. Tuesday and Wednesday, and he believed the Lord and he counted it to him. And he counted it to him. And he believed the Lord and he counted it, it to him. Good, got it. Good, good, good. And by Thursday and Friday, 
add the end in. And by Friday, my goodness, you have got the whole verse and you took it in little small bites. So I don't have to have it memorized the first time I oh, open my no, Explore no, the Bible book. No, even your moms and dads, they have to learn it in small bites. Yeah, wow, for that, sure. man, for learn sure. it in small bites. That's really helpful. They do. They What's the third tip? My third tip is memorize it or say it to yourself first thing in the morning and right before you go to bed. When I get up first thing in the morning, sometimes even while I'm brushing my teeth, and he believed the Lord, and he counted it to him as righteousness. Um, yes, Ms. Yes, yes. Mel, um, theoretically, what if you don't brush your teeth? Oh. All the time. I got some tips for that, too. But We'll do that off camera. Okay. Yes, yes, that's Good. a problem. Okay, so I'm going to say it in the morning <laughs> <laughs> while I'm brushing my teeth. Yes, yes. Or combing your hair. Yeah. Or eating your breakfast. Time on that. Yeah, got it. Say okay. it in the morning. So I'll say it some in the morning. And say it to yourself when you lay your head down on the pit, pillow at night. That's helpful for yeah. me because sometimes like after exploring the Bible in the morning and school and for me work and hanging out and playing, I forget what I did in the morning. Exactly, exactly. It's always a good idea. Say those scriptures and say some prayer before you go to sleep oh, at night. That's really helpful. For Thank sure, you, Miss sure. Mel, for those for tips. Sure. That's why we have a director of the Buckner and Kids <laughs> Ministry. And this week's verse is great. You're right. Genesis 15, 6. And he believed the Lord and he counted it to him as, as righteousness. Righteousness. Yeah. Boy, you know, you said a minute ago, that is a big word. Do you know what it means? Could you could you explain it to yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bit do know what it means. So this week we're going to see how Abraham uh, was was told by God. God told him lots of promises. He promised that even though Abraham was really old, that he was going to have a son. Right. He was going to have not just a son, but this guy with no kids was then going to be the father of many nations. Oh, I don't I don't want to stop you right there, but. Did you know that you and Abraham might have a little something in common? We both have lots of kids. Lots That's of a kids. great point. Well, we both believe God. And we believe God. Yes, but, well, yes, you know, yes. we started a little younger than Abraham. <laughs> um, Abraham, though, didn't just hear these promises from God. No. He believed them. That he is important. He believed in God. You could hear them and not believe. Right. Believing we can, is Yes. Important. So you yes. could read this week and not believe what God's right. saying through the Bible. Right. And that's very different than reading and believing. Right. Because we don't just be hearers of the word of God. We want to be believers and then doers of the word that's of God. For sure. yes. So righteousness, the easy way to remember righteousness is perfection. Oh, that yeah, does help That me seems like a lot more approachable word. That does help me remember. Word. Hey, Miss Miller, are you perfect? No. Was Abraham perfect? No, he wasn't. No, he no. wasn't. But this is the best part. Is that even though Abraham and Miss Mel, and me, and you aren't perfect. If we believe in God, if we believe in his son Jesus and what he did on the cross for us, that he died for us, right. if you will believe that, your faith will be counted as righteousness. Oh, wow. That's it will be as if you were perfect because Jesus will take your sins, all the bad things that you've done, all the bad things that Abraham did, and he did some bad for things. Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. And Jesus will take those sins and he will give you his perfection because Jesus is perfect. And that's righteousness. Yes, that is. That yeah. is. Oh. And that's why this snapshot verse is so great. It is very important too. Oh, thank you for explaining righteousness yeah, to me. Absolutely. That big word. Yeah. Yeah. And that's so why important. as we read the Bible, when you have questions like Miss Mel did, yeah. you ask somebody. Oh. And if that person doesn't know, then you take them and you go ask somebody else. You can always ask Miss Mel or myself, obviously your parents. There's lots of people sure. that would love to help For you. Sure. Because the more you explore the Bible, the more questions you're going to have. Right. And that's, that's part of exploring the Bible. Dude, that's the best part. Yes. We're not just walking through the Bible. We're looking. We're looking deep. We're asking big questions. We are. We and, and we're so proud of you for that. Oh, are. we are. My yeah, goodness. It's They're reading their Bibles and gathering together in their small groups. I'm so proud of you for making time to get together with your, your small groups. Your leaders have told me how much they are enjoying your, you showing up and how you are asking questions and spending time in the scriptures. And we are. We're very proud of you for doing that. It's awesome. You're doing great, Buck Run Kids. We love you. We do. We, we love you. We miss you. We do miss you. And we're so <laughs> proud of you for reading the Bible. And we'll see you next week on the Buck Run Kids Show. Bye-bye.
Hey, Bugger and Kids, I hope you are memorizing your verses, and we would love to see you sharing them. I want you to ask your grown-up to take a video of you quoting any of your verses and emailing them to us at kids at buckrun.org. That's kids at buckrun.org. And if you do, you might be featured on an upcoming episode of the Buck Run Kids Show. We want to see you, your face, and your voice saying these scriptures that we're learning. I hope you have an awesome week. See you soon.